78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Y'all smash the like button, hit the subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So let's talk about it, man. Uh, Devin the Dream Haney, the young homie, was out there uh, at, at some type of fair or festival, like enjoying the summertime like normal people supposed to be able to do. He had a couple of his homies with him. Uh, and they were approached um, by some weird Ryan Garcia fans. Uh, well, some weirdo fans. I ain't gonna call them Ryan Garcia fans. I'm just gonna say he was approached by some weirdo fans talking crazy. This dude obviously got some type of issue, uh, but you know, he made some threats and stuff like that and got dealt with, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they, they, you know, they thrashed him. They thrashed him and now uh, walked away. They didn't even stomp him out or nothing like they could have. Uh, they could have used uh, uh, deadly force if they wanted to. They didn't do none of that. When, once they once they contained the threat, they walked away. No big deal, right? Just it's a lot of weirdos out here like that that like to run up on celebrities and try to have a viral moment. You know what I'm saying? And you know, uh, it's funny how somebody's in the background recording, right? You know, why are they recording? See, this is this is the the type of scams people try to set up to have their moment for lawsuits and stuff. I was just minding my business, and this celebrity who's a boxer, he hit me. And, you know, he, we've seen it all this time. People running up on Mike Tyson. Uh, uh, Mike Tyson came to take an airplane flight without some dude jumping behind him, acting a fool. It's, it's, it's goofiness, man. But this is the new era, cloud chasing era of the Internet. Um, grown men act like children. Men, men act like women. Uh, 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 you know, it, it's sad. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's happening now. People do anything for clout, anything for some attention. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we seen some dude uh, fake some fake. He faked like Ryan Garcia had whooped him. You know what I mean? Just so he can get some some clout on the internet. And it's pathetic, but you know that's the new era we live in. So that's why we always gotta be careful, man, about uh, you know who you associate with, uh, where you going, who you hanging out with, all of that stuff. Because these weirdos is out here, man. And, uh, and I got this is why I say I got no respect for anybody that's still um, defending Ryan Garcia. Uh, that's still out here, and despite all his racial rants, despite him failing the PED test, despite him cheating the sport of boxing and missing weight, despite him coming up, changing his story about the PED testing five, six different times, different stories he got, different conspiracy theories. Uh, uh, then he goes on a racial rant. Then he goes on the Islamophobic rant. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he, he all over the place with no consequences. Still, people acting like he this kid did nothing wrong. He ain't did nothing wrong. Anything he does, there's an excuse. There's somebody there to say, "Oh, well, Ryan, this and that." I'm even seeing YouTube channels that gave Ryan Garcia a pass. Did not cook Ryan on a daily basis. People who gave Ryan Garcia a pass for his all the stuff I just mentioned. Uh, these same people are now trying to dog or drag Devin Haney for defending himself. Now, first and foremost, we don't know what this guy said to Devin. I haven't spoken to Devin. We don't know what this guy said to Devin, but I can imagine. I can imagine. I know it was a threat, but um, we don't know to what, what tone. Uh, but, you know, I remember, I want to say, hmm, what's this, 2024? Yeah, about 2020. No, 2019, because this is before the, uh, the, the the Rona stuff happened. 2019, right? Um, I was in a situation similar to this in the park. And, uh, uh, you know, at the time, uh, my little cousin was with me. You know, he a little a young hothead and stuff like that. But I'm trying to bring him out here to environments like this where it's more peaceful and he can calm down and stuff. You know, just trying to be you know a big, uh, a good big cousin to, the, to my young younger cousin, right? But anyway... Um, while we was here, uh, some it was a drunk dude in the park, right? And, he, and I knew he was drunk. I could tell by he was walking. And I was hoping, like, man, I hope this dude don't come over here talking crazy. And sure enough, he seen us sitting down. He came over. Hey, what's up? What's up, man? You know, first he started off okay. He was a little belligerent, but he was okay. You know, then he started, you know, getting aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Like, too touchy-feely. One thing I don't do with, with other other men in general, I don't like people touching me, sizing me up. Cause when the man come up to you and he touching you, he keep touching your shoulder, he keep he keep patting you on the back, he trying to check you for a weapon, 
and he's trying to size you up to see if he can toss you. Like, how easy can he move you around? You know, dudes always trying to reach in like they hug you, you know, always trying to move you, trying to see how your balance is. I understand all of that. that that's a man sizing you up. He want to see how, 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 you know, how, many, how much force it's going to take to give you the one here to quit or scoop you or whatever. So he's tried to do that. I seen him trying to do it to uh, my little cousin. So um, the guy says, this is where he made his mistake. The guy say, uh, we being real tolerant with the guy and real patient because we know he's drunk. So then the dude going to say, yeah, y'all slipping. So to me, we slipping. Yeah, I'm close enough to Merc both of y'all. He didn't use the word Merc. I'm just using that word because of, of YouTube. He used the K word. He said, uh, I'm close enough to do something to both of y'all. And then he, he like grabbed his waist as if he had something. We immediately stomped him out. I don't care if you drunk. Now we stomping you because we don't know what you, you, you just made a threat. You close enough to do this. I don't, you can interpret it how you want to. Some people say, oh, he didn't threaten you. He just said, no, he, he threatened me. Where I'm from, that's a threat. You know what I'm saying? I understand, I understand what people try to beat around the bush. You're not going to do that. So we stomped him right out in the park. You know what I mean? Nothing came from it, but my point is, you know, drunk, belligerent people running up on celebrities, running up on anybody that gets you dealt with. A lot of y'all, this new era, y'all like to play these little games, uh, prank games and stuff, and we got run up on people in the stores and run up to dudes who with their girl and disrespect them and hey 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 can hey can I get your number? And then and then she's like, Well my husband right here and dude like, bruh, you see me standing here, I don't care about you, man. See all that kind of stuff gonna get somebody hurt. And people have gotten hurt behind these little pranks and however cool you think you gonna be. Cause, Cause we don't know. Dude probably could have been trying to prank Devin Haney. Cause like I say, why was the other person recording it? The other person is off in the cut recording, and then you got this dude over here talking crazy to Dev now. Now, for all we know, he was over there uh, uh, talking greasy. He could have been trying to prank Dev, making threats, whatever. Whatever it is, you don't run up to no man, especially when he, he you don't run up to no man, period, talking crazy. You just don't. Unless you're looking for some smoke, you're looking for some action. You just don't. And anybody that's defending the dude or trying to clown Devin Haney or down him for that, y'all you, you, are the definition of what's wrong with manhood in this society today. And I got no respect for y'all. Y'all a bunch of dudes that's uh, 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 you know, in, y'all ending it, ending your own existence. You know what I mean by that? Y'all getting rid of yourself because you depressed about it. you ain't making enough money and oh, uh, this person on social media got a Bugatti. I want a Bugatti too. Uh, oh, life is so bad. I only make fifty thousand a year. Crybaby stuff, just ridiculous stuff, bro. I just rolled past uh, McDonald's. I'm one of my um, little areas I'll be going right uh, uh, about two miles from here. You know McDonald's is paying eighteen to twenty dollars an hour at that location. I'm like, what, bro? When I bro, when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, we thought we was winning when we was getting a job making uh, uh, five twenty five. That was minimum wage, five twenty five, right? When I was a youngster. Then I remember it jumped up to like seven seven twenty five or something, and I think I was making like seven seventy or something. And I was so proud and so happy. Oh, I'm getting that money. I'm getting to it, man. You know what I'm saying? We did what we had to do, you know what I'm saying? We had work overtime, whatever, you know what I mean? Do what we got to do to stack our bread. These dudes today got it so made, you know, I understand inflation is, is, is up too, but people, call, the cost of living has gone up, but dudes got it made and don't understand they got it made because everybody's soft and crybabies now, you know what I'm saying? You don't appreciate making 50000 a year. Did nobody tell you to live in uh, some New York City high-rise? Did nobody tell you you live in California where it's, it's, you know, it's, it's super duper expensive? No. Take your qualifications and your skills and go down south somewhere. Go go out in the Midwest somewhere where you can stretch your dollars. You know what I'm saying? Don't be crying. I just had to tell him one of the young homies about some stuff like this. He crying about 70000 a year ain't enough. And, you know what I'm saying? And it's, I said, well, how 70000 ain't enough, bro? Like, you can, like, it's insulting to say that when you got homeless people out here. They ain't making nothing. They trying to scrape, scrape up twenty, thirty dollars a day, standing on islands on the highway, begging for for money, and you out here talking about seventy thousand ain't enough for you to make it. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Oh, you trying to live that Miami life? You trying to live the lifestyle of the rich and famous? Oh, I get it. No, seventy thousand ain't enough to live like that. But that life ain't built for you. And if you want to live that life, other than see, you can live that life uh, 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 on occasion twice a year or something, you and your girl want to go on vacation and you want to ball out, get you a penthouse suite and 
uh, uh, get you a limo and all that. That's that's beautiful. That's fun. Good memories. Take some pictures. But then you gotta go back to work on Monday, homie. That's life. That's life. You ain't got what you what are you crying for? Oh man, uh, these people get to live like that every day. That's them. They got different talents than you got. They maybe their parents they, they left them a bunch of money. You got to grind. If you want that to live those type of lifestyles, you gotta grind. You understand? You can't. You can't. It, it ain't nothing coming to you for nothing. Wait, sitting, there, waiting on the pie in the sky, waiting on somebody to come down, waiting on the Lord to come down and just give you something. And you, don't, but what you done done to, to put yourself in position to get anything like that, other than be a hater? Nah, man. So, regardless of the fact, yeah, I'm just disgusted with this whole society and the way stuff is going now. How it's cool to be a, to be a clown. It's cool to run up and disrespect random people because you want to go viral and you think that you can just say. Oh man, I was just joking. Calm down, man. Relax, bro. This is just a prank. No, bro. You would, bro. Something will happen to you. Y'all need to understand that, bro. I'm telling you, I ain't trying to wish no bad on nobody. I'm just saying, fam. Like every, we all got our own is issues. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my health in order and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Everybody got. We all got our own personal issues and personal demons and stuff like that that we dealing with. But bro, you never know what somebody going through, fam. Somebody could just, uh, you know, went through something with their girlfriend or something. You got some dude. Who just found out his child ain't his child. He go to the liquor store to get him a drink or something to cry away his pain and wash away the pain. And then you got some little young punk run up to him, hey, 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 uh, uh, talking crazy because you pranking somebody. Bro, it can, it, bro, I'm just telling you, y'all gonna learn trying to go viral for the wrong stuff, man. Go viral for some talent, man. Get yourself some talent, bro, for real. You know what I'm saying? See, let me tell you about content creators. You know, I understand the prank thing is a, a good uh, avenue if you are, if you respect the business, man. You respect other people, bro. You can't disrespect people, bro. Y'all getting further and further, and more and more disrespectful, and that's gonna end bad for somebody, fam. I'm telling you, one y'all do is gonna get yourself hurt with this disrespectful stuff. So I'm hoping that a lot of y'all just start admitting that y'all doing fake pranks and stuff because the, the, some of these impressionable kids that don't know. Y'all doing these fake and stage pranks is trying this stuff out and getting hurt. You know what I mean? Y'all seen the one dude who ended, you know, he got ended and deleted. You know what I'm saying? It was a prankster and whatever. Stuff like that happened. But anyway. Um, the problem, like I'm saying with, with today, is people want something for nothing. Okay? Do you think you're supposed to live just because this other person on Instagram living this way? You're supposed to be living this way. First of all, you don't even know if that person on Instagram that you sweating even live like that. Image, bro, the internet is so easy to be. You can be anybody you want to be. Anybody. I didn't have to tell y'all that I was out here, you know, doing what I was doing in them streets or I was doing it. I could have just came over here like I'm a straight square dude and and this and this and that and you know, talk real prim and proper and you know what I'm saying? I could have took whatever angle I wanted to take. You know what I'm saying? You can, and that's that's the thing about the internet. But anyway, I don't want to get all sidetracked talking about everything else. The point is this, man. Um, I wish nothing but the best for young Devin Haney. He got so many haters, man. People hate Bill. They hate Dev. Um, you know, and they're trying their best to destroy that family. Uh, people hate them because they're Muslims. They hate them because they're black. Constant hate. Cause they've done nothing else for you to hate them. You know what I'm saying? I see people rooting for the guy, the guy who uh, got dealt with. Um, oh well, uh, oh Devin couldn't even. They couldn't even knock out a, a, a regular civilian. Ha <laughs> ha! They couldn't even do this and that. Y'all dudes is pathetic, man. All y'all dudes do is gas up and instigate beef, instigate stuff. And then when something happened, y'all the first ones rushing to the internet to snitch on everybody. That's what y'all do. And y'all almost got me like that. You see what I'm saying? That's why you got to be careful on this internet. You let people gas you up. You know what I'm saying? People get... Uh, almost made me step out of myself and do something to somebody. Uh, one of these YouTubers because I'm listening to y'all coming around saying a little slip. Oh, yeah, see they didn't want no smoke and woo-woo. I said, see, this is what I get. Trying to be a responsible brother. Trying to be the, make the right decisions. Trying to stay out of jail. Trying to be here for my kids and grandkids. And now I'm dudes trying to clown me for not doing something to somebody. And it, it, it worked for a second, because for a split second, I was going to do something to somebody. And then I had to reel it back in and say, uh-uh, uh-uh. 
See, that's that's how that's how wickedness and witchcraft, if you let it in your circle, it can it can affect your your mental. I've been flying high. I've been on cloud nine. You know what I'm saying? I've been at peace in my life, especially as of late. You know what I'm saying? The last few years, I've been at such a beautiful peace. You know what I mean? And you gotta be careful of the people you let into your life and the energy you let into your life because some of these people are miserable people and they will not rest until they make you miserable. Just you you just the sound of your voice being happy, the smile on your face will will it send them into a rage, bro. And they want and these people will pretend like they're your friend, but then they, they want this to wipe that off your face, bro. Nothing more. To wipe it off your face. Cause they don't know what happiness is. They ain't been happy. So they want you to be happy. I mean, excuse me, they don't want you to be happy. And it's sad. This brother over here went to the porta party three times. I ain't gonna make fun of him though, no, cause he might have a, an issue going on. But uh, that's pretty much what's, what's going on, man. Uh, look at this, bro. This you can't make this up. You cannot make this up, bro. Every time I'm doing a video at this park, no matter what side of the park I'm in, to come skynet. But I ain't live today though, so they can't do nothing. But I'm gonna holler at y'all in a minute, man. 78 Sports TV salute to the mighty LDBC. We'll probably here, deuces.